In this session, let's learn about data dictionary. So when you are working as a database administrator, the common questions which you get is like, what are the various users present in the database? Or what are the currently running sessions in the database? Or how much total space is occupied by all the users? Or can you list the top 10 longest running SQL statements? Like this, you will get lot of questions about the database. As a DBA, you need to know all this information. So where do you get that information? Yes, you get that information from the database itself. Yes, the database has got a set of tables and views which store all the information related to the database. Just by querying these tables and views, you can get all the information you need. Cool, right? Yes. So that is why whenever someone asks what is a data dictionary, a data dictionary is nothing but a set of tables and views containing the information about the database. Some people call it as metadata because it is data about the data. That is why it is called metadata data and we know all this information is stored in the database and the information is about itself right yes there are a bunch of tables sitting in the oracle database which contain the information about the database all those base tables are owned by the user sys okay example sys dot tab dollar this is the data dictionary base table which contains all the information related to tables like that different base tables serve a different purpose but oracle did not document these base tables instead of that they built views which are user friendly and can be used by the database administrators the column names in these base tables are too cumbersome or too difficult to understand the meaning of columns. So Oracle built views on top of these base tables so that the DBAs and the regular users can understand them. Okay. And also Oracle has done a fantastic job in documenting these data dictionary views so that everyone can use them. So 99% of the time, whenever you are querying a data dictionary, you are querying a data dictionary view. Example, we are querying from DBA tables. This DBA tables is a view which is built on top of the base table owned by the user sys. Okay, for us as a DBA administrator, it doesn't really matter whether we are querying a base table or the views. All we want is the necessary information. Right? Yes. There are totally 1200 plus data dictionary views in 11G or 12C. They are divided into static views, dynamic views, global dynamic views and undocumented views. The static views contain information about the database objects like tables, indexes, procedures, functions, synonyms, etc. They are called static because the contents of this view change only when a DDL operations are executed. Example, if you add a new column to the table, then that new column information is stored in the data dictionary table. Like this, the content of a static data dictionary view is changed whenever DDL operations are executed. Okay. Whereas dynamic views are updated at startup time. That means whenever the Oracle database is started, the data in the dynamic views is changed and the data keeps on changing throughout the life of the instance. That is why they are called as dynamic okay and we have other kind of global dynamic views which are useful in a parallel server environment in a parallel server environment we can query these gv dollar views which in turn query the data from the v dollar view information for all the qualified instances 
that means in a parallel server environment where you are running multiple instances and you want to query the information about all the instances then you can use this gv dollar views okay and apart from this there are lot of other undocumented views which oracle stores other information oracle did not document this views maybe they thought this information is not really useful for the dbas or other users this is mostly internal to oracle database and is not really important for the other users that is why they did not document those views which we did not really worry as we will never use them okay in the next session we will learn more about static views Okay